Parenting is difficult in any day and age, and this day and age it's particularly difficult with the internet and how fast things move, the pressure kids feel, all wanting to get into good schools. So we created Parent University as a resource for everyone to come together to hear from some of the best experts around the area and also outside of the area to come in in one day, hear lots of different advice, whether you agree or disagree, hear some informed opinions, hear about the research. Best of all, it happens right here in our own Brentwood community. Number one top concern of parents, hands down, of any age child is how do I get my child to listen? Here's some tips to think about getting a child to listen the first time. Get your child's attention first before giving them directions. Make sure that when you give directions to a child, it's a statement with a period following it, not a question mark. Give them a rewind method. Give your direction and then say, now please tell me back what I just said to make sure you're on board together. And finally, make sure you're a model of good listening if you want your child to listen. When you're trying to figure out which fights to start with your teenager, think about a prioritization system like the airports use. They have the yellow alert, orange alert, red alert, so they can break things down into relative risk. Same holds true with your teenager. What goes in the yellow basket? Things like hairstyles, clothes, weird music, forget it. That child is exploring her identity. You want those things to happen. Grades. There's very little correlation between success in high school and ultimate life success. In fact, we've got inverse data that show that kids who struggle, who fail, who have issues and trauma tend to do better late in life if the trauma aren't overwhelming. What do you go to war over? The red basket, that's drugs, sex, violence. Those things affect the heart and the character of your child. What's activated and comes forward for us has a lot to do with who's around us and if we're alone and where we are, both in a metaphysical sense and a geographical sense. There's a lot of confusion about the difference between sexualization and sexuality, and actually they're very different things. We're all sexual beings from birth, and that's to be celebrated. Sexuality is a good thing. Sexualization is both the process and the result of turning people into objects, into things. I like 9,000 likes, Mom. I'm like famous. Okay, like for what, 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 what was that picture for? It's, it's a pancake. A, a pancake? Yeah, people like pancakes, Mom. You got, pan, got 9,000 likes on a pancake picture? People are no longer looking at your Microsoft Word, your PDF, or your printed out resume. They're taking that and they're Googling you and searching for you online. Huh? Two goals! Yes! Four goals would be better. Next time, try a little harder. Make daddy and mommy proud. It's not the skills you teach. It's the words you use that are your legacy. Because when you tell a child you believe in them, you light a flame that burns well beyond any game. So the next time you're talking to a child, or more importantly, coaching a child, you're not just training their bodies, you're accelerating their brains.